Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, we're back out at Herman Airport again. Um, we're going to be doing some tests again on the Supernova and the Badass motor. Um, today I've got a 6S battery in it. Um, it's a 3200 milliamp, but it's only rated at 50C because um, those are the only ones they had at the local hobby shop. Um, we're going to test out, see how it runs on 6S. I got an 8x6 prop on here. So uh, let's we'll throw it in the air, see what type of numbers we get. <laughs> So far, so good. I don't know. It don't look much faster to me. What do you think, Frank? It's hard to tell. The motor sounds like it's winding up more yeah. definitely though. That, was pretty good. that one looked pretty good. Yeah. That was nice and low too. Well, these are new batteries though too, so. It's a little know. cooler today too. You might need to warm them up yeah. a little. You know, I only got to cycle them a couple times last night. Definitely sounds different than last week. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I rolled it. Okay, ran for four minutes, 49 seconds. 5.26 miles, well, cover some ground. 149. That's cool. Move so, your hand so I can see it better. There we so go. So just under 150 on the Sweet. 6S. You picked up some speed, man. Okay. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna do another 6S flight. Um, the last flight was with the 8.6 prop. Um, the motor did come down a little hot on the test bench. That uh, 86 prop was pulling about 105 amps so again that was over what is recommended at the 95 amp uh, rating um, this flight we're going to use a 7 by 8 inch pitch prop on 6s and uh, see what type of numbers we get <laughs> You think it's faster? It might be, I don't know. That's the same prop you used to run with your old yeah. motor on 5S, isn't it? Definitely sounds like the engine's screaming a lot more. Do a little bit of cool off. Damn, that thing's humming, man. That thing sounds crazy even at like half yeah. the bottle, dude. It's got like a whine to it. Okay, ready? Yep. I 
that thing's cruising, dude. Yeah, that's ripping now, man. I should be hoping. You think it picked up more speed or not? I think so. I guess we'll find out when we look at the GPS. Yeah, this this is the one prop I don't think we did a bench test on for amps, so hopefully we're not pulling way too much. <laughs> yeah, I think that motor fun. sounds freaking crazy yeah. now, man. Sounds like it's zinging. Okay, I think let me do one more pass, and after that I'll land it. Yep. Yeah, I think the battery's it's like, coming down. Yeah, the voltage is dropping now. So you can definitely tell. Okay, let me bring it around, bring it in. Alright. Wind. Okay. Cool. Let's go check the numbers. Yep. Okay, I see the numbers. Four minutes, 25 seconds. 4.66 miles. 147.9. That's actually slower. Yeah. Huh. Huh. It seemed like it's faster. It looked pretty good though. That's not yeah. too much slower. No. A couple, what, three, four miles slower? The motor's not as hot as the other one, but it is a little warm. Okay, guys, we're going to do one last test uh, today with the Supernova. We dropped back down to a 5S LiPo pack. Um, I changed the prop out. We're using an 8x73 racing prop. So let's throw it in the air, see what happens. Whoa! What happened there, man? Oh my God! The wind caught it. I threw it sideways. Oh, that's pretty Yeah, this prop we did test on the test bench and it was pulling, I think it was about 110 amps or 112 amps. So it is over the recommended ratings also. So, but like I said, we're pushing it for the heck of it. See what this motor can handle. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look as fast as that 6S setup. I'm just gonna do one more speed run for it and then I'll right. bring it in. That should be good enough to test. Definitely doesn't look as fast to me as a 6S setup. Well, it's definitely not gonna be, but. So you think it's faster than the other 5S um, setup? I don't know, it's hard to say after doing the 6S. The best previous was 134 miles an hour on the 5S. Now it's with those uh, pylon racer props that we had. I do have more props coming, so uh, more different pylon racer prop sizes. So hopefully we can find a good setup. All right, you're on. Okay, flew for three minutes fifty seconds, three point seven two miles, one hundred thirty-eight. So that's fast. So that's than the other that. One. Yeah, it's the fastest that we've had on. 5S. Um, we did have a little bit of a tailwind today, so it might be right about the same as the others, I'm thinking. Um, let's see the motor. Motor's a little warm, a little hot, so we're probably definitely over amping above the 95 amps in the air. But it's not too bad. Okay guys, that'll pretty much finish up the uh, part two of this testing of the new badass motor I got on the Supernova. Um, I've been pretty impressed with the overall performance of this badass motor. Um, I ran it several times, you know, pushing it above the rated uh, amp ratings of the motor. Um, it has come down a little hot, uh, but nothing overly excessive. So, you know, overall I think it's pretty rock solid. 
So I'll probably do a few more tests uh, coming up in the future. I've got a bunch of uh, new props coming from APC that I ordered online. Some more pylon racer props of various sizes. So um, hopefully we can find the magic um, prop and motor setup with this and battery. And hopefully we can break that 150 mark. We're right there knocking at the door at 149.1 miles an hour. So that's pretty good and impressive, you know, especially with the Supernova. It's not the most efficient plane, you know, with the thrust plate behind the prop and all that stuff and all the extra stuff I got kind of hanging off there. Um, I think if I have a more sleek plane, um, it'd probably uh, be quite a bit faster. So stay tuned. We may do some other planes with this motor, too, coming in the future.